Hi everyone, welcome to Foreign Students Online Application System of NIA. Today we're going to promote you how you can apply online. When you first get into this front page, you will see this one. And before you start to apply, you can always refer to our instruction for first users or user guide. And first step you need to take is that you need to create a new account for your online application. And right now you need to fill in this electronic form for your registration. Every blank with restart need to be filled out. And please remember that double check after you fill in because it matters, it will affect your application online. and you can create your own account name. And you need to create a password from eight digit to 12 digit, mixed with English letters and numbers. and you can send out your uh, registration form. And right now, you've already registered an online account. And after that, after that, you will get a verification mail automatically sent by the system. And you need to boot your online account via this mail. And it's probably be blocked by your mailbox, so remember to check your junk mail when you did not get it. And after you get this mail, you can see this link right up here. And you need to boot your account via this link. Click it, and it will link to our front page. And then you can log into your account. And fill in your account name and password. You can log in. And after you log in, you can see the ribbon up here. There are many options for you to choose, and you can always modify your basic information right up here. Because it matters, it, uh, it will link to your resident record here in Taiwan. So make sure that you fill out all information right. And if you want to extend your ARC, you can choose this one, ARC extension. After you read the agreement and notification, click OK. And just fill in your basic information we need to bring out your residence record. And here you can see that that's your residence record and you will have to help us to double check 
your basic information and upload the document required. And you can also change the information of your passport if it is renewed or you can renew your residence address at the same time for extension. And after you fill out all the information, you double check it and you can send out your application. And same time, you will get a there uh, you will get a notification mail as well. And after your application is approved, you can pay online. And you can see your case, which is approved right here. Tick the case you want to pay for. And you can simply choose the method you want to do your payment. And you can, as you can see here, you can pay with credit card or you can uh, print down your statement for payment and go to any convenience stores to pay your tuition. And after your payment is done, you will get this and you will also get a mail from our system. And after that, you can either download your A4 size paper certificate or you can download your receipt. And with the receipt, you can bring it over to any service center you just choose to pick up your new IC card. And an email will also be sent to you to tell you when you can get your IC card at the service centers you choose. You can either pick up your new card by yourself or you can ask any of your friends or families to bring over your receipt here and also your previous ARC card to the service centers for you to exchange your new ID card.